Congratulations on your new 8 In this video, we're going to cover how to install your new machine. At Tormach, we're here to help people make things. As a 100% employee-owned business, we strive to be your high-value source for capable and affordable manufacturing equipment. Whether it is a CNC plasma table, a mill, a lathe, a wood router, or even an automatic bandsaw, we can help you build out the ideal solution for your shop. Read the operating manual for your machine for all the warnings, cautions, the safety overview, general site and space requirements, as well as your electrical requirements. The operator manual will also show you what tools you will need for your, to install your machine and cover each step in full detail. The 8L lathe delivers easily with a lift gate truck. No need for a forklift. When your machine arrives, make sure that you visually inspect it. We see less than 1% of our equipment get damaged in transit, but it can happen. In this scenario, you'll want to document any visible damage on the bill of lading. If the damage is bad enough, you can just reject the shipment. Once the machine is safely off the truck and inside your shop, we can start removing the crate packaging. We're going to start with the stand crate. Remove the bottom screws and lift off the top with the help of an assistant. Remove the plastic wrap, stand feet, coolant tank, and the top two sliding drawers. And we're going to set these aside for now. Remove the mounting bolts located in the stand feet. Now with the help of an assistant, lift the stand off and set it on its back. It's best to place some cardboard or plastic down first to protect the paint. We can now dispose of the pallet and install the stand feet. Once it's installed, we can lift the stand back up. Now over to the machine crate. We're going to remove the screws from the bottom and lift off the top with the help of an assistant again. Lift up the machine with a pallet jack and remove the four mounting bolts from the bottom of the machine. To work safely under the machine, make sure you place wood blocking underneath it. Insert the four lifting eye bolts on the sides of the machine and attach your lifting straps. Now we can roll the machine underneath the engine hoist. Lift the machine off the pallet and discard it. With the machine securely raised, remove the four screws holding the drip tray and set this aside. Verify the height of the machine standoffs at three and a quarter inches and adjust as needed. Now we can install the four set screws into those standoffs and install the coolant line. The coolant line is a push to connect fitting, so just go ahead and press that in there. Pick up the stand with your pallet jack and position it under your 8L lathe. Route the coolant line through the hole in the stand and then lower the machine down and install the mounting nuts through those drawer openings and tighten securely. Disconnect the lifting straps. Remove the eye bolts and move the engine hoist out of the way. So now we're onto the machine arm. We will start with the lower arm and we'll install this with the nylon washer on the bottom side. This is mounted to the stand using two socket head cap screws. Now we can install the vertical bar and the keyboard tray. You will notice the mounting arms for the keyboard and monitor are different lengths. This allows you to customize the heights for your comfort. My preference is keep the longer arms pointing up for the monitor. The monitor mount is the large black square plate, so we we'll want to make sure that we have this on the top side. Now we can install the Pathpilot controller mount and the monitor. This sits between the monitor and the mount and is held in place with four M4 by 12 millimeter socket head cap screws. Now let's grab that controller and install the two standoffs in the bottom. Then we can slide it onto the controller mount. We want to make sure and orient the video port away from the monitor. After this, we can use the double-sided tape that's provided and mount the USB hub on top of the controller. We can also install the mouse, the keyboard, and the jog shuttle on the tray. And we can connect all these wires to the controllers. The monitor cable can also be installed. The power wires will be routed down the vertical machine arm using the provided cable anchors and through the horizontal bars, cutouts, and back to the machine accessory outlets located by the main disconnect. With all the components installed, we can power up the machine. The 8 l lathe can be plugged into any 115 volt 15 amp outlet. Turn on the main disconnect switch and let Pathpilot boot up. When the license agreement screen comes up, please read through it and press the agree button. The next step is to select our machine model. So go ahead and click on 8L lathe and then click save and start in the bottom right hand corner. Pathpilot will finish booting up and we will be ready to grab the manual and work through the verifying the installation section where we will confirm the machine and its safety features are working properly. If the 8L is not in the list, no problem at all, we just need to update Pathpilot. This is easily done by going to tormach.com and downloading the latest version of Pathpilot. Copy this file onto a USB drive and install it in your controller. Now we can select update and follow the on-screen prompts. After everything is plugged in, we can install the side table. Thank you again for supporting Tormach and enjoy your 8 all lathe.